Hi guys, in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the supersonic sunflower loadout for Sunflower in Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. So the idea of this series is to give you guys some ideas of playstyles and upgrade combinations you can try with different characters that may give you an added challenge, help you get more vanquishes, give you some different strategies to try out with your favorite character, or share a new perspective on a character you are not so fond of. Also please note that one of the upgrades in this video requires you to have a master rank sunflower however i have included some alternatives just in case as usual just before we begin remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content on this channel and want to help it grow anyway let's get started so the loadout I have put together today is called Supersonic Sunflower and the idea behind this class is to transform Sunflower from her supportive medical role and turn her into a super speedy zombie vanquishing machine. Now by default Sunflower is of course optimized for healing and staying close to your teammates to help them face the zombie hordes, however the Supersonic Sunflower has no time for teamwork, she laughs at the other Sunflowers who just try to be goody goodies being team players and all that kind of rubbish. Supersonic Sunflower is a strong independent plant who takes no nonsense from those zombies. She's not afraid to get in their faces and do some real damage, although if things get dicey she's out of there faster than Crazy Dave can eat a taco or taco. Anyway what this build is designed to do is turn Sunflower into an offensive character that doesn't stick with the team and dares to do it alone. So let's take a look at the upgrades for this loadout. So we have rollout that costs 2 points, Hard target which costs 3 points and finally quick aggress that costs 2 points however this one unfortunately requires master rank which I don't have but I will go over a few other perks that I think would work well later on in the video. Right now let's talk about the first perk rollout. So this upgrade gives Sunflower a speed boost increase when spawning or when she is revived by another player which basically means that from the get go you are super speedy and can get into the action much quicker than most other plants. I say most because all support characters have access to this perk. Particularly on smaller maps, this can not only help you find zombies to vanquish quicker, you may get the drop on an enemy whilst the effects of the upgrade are still active and then use it to jump about and confuse them whilst dealing damage. One thing I would say though is that this perk is probably the least effective on turf takeover. Yes you can use the perk to get back into battle a bit quicker, but in other game modes such as Team Vanquish, the likelihood of you getting vanquished is higher than on turf. And of course the more you get vanquished the more you will respawn and get the speed boost. Next up we have Hard Target, which for me is probably the core of this loadout, and to be fair in my opinion this perk is probably a bit OP. Anyway what this perk does, it gives you a temporary speed buff when you take damage. Damage. This can be any sort of damage, so being hit with one single projectile will activate the effects of the upgrade, which lasts about 3 seconds I believe. So this perk really is super effective for a number of things. The first one really is to enable you to get out of danger very quickly. If you start to take too much damage, you can easily run away and put some good distance between you and your attacker. However, the other thing you can do with this upgrade is the opposite. So this works best if you've only taken a little bit of damage. So instead of running away, run straight for your enemy and use your increased speed to dodge and move around. Or what sometimes is also effective is literally running directly at them and shooting them at point blank range. This can catch zombies off guard as most people won't expect a sunflower to just charge at you like a super brains. This also brings us nicely to our final upgrade called Quick Egress, which is the master perk. So not only have we now got increased speed on spawn and when we take damage, this final upgrade upgrade gives us even more speed and this time it's when we heal. Quick Aggress allows Sunflower to move faster when using the Sunny Side Up ability. So now that we have that into the mix, what you can now do is as soon as you start to take damage, pop Sunny Side Up and you will not only have the benefits of Quick Aggress, you will have the additional speed of Hard Target. This can also be combined with Rollout. When you respawn, utilize the speed that Rollout gives you, but when that runs out, use Sunny Side Up and boom, you've got another speed boost. So all in all, Sunflower has become the Sonic the Sunflower, Sonic the Hedgehog was so last year. Sonic is out, Sunflower is in. Now like I said earlier there are some alternative perks for this loadout but unfortunately none of them work quite as well. 
So instead of quick aggress, I would recommend either using Vampire Flower, which gives you health when dealing damage, and this enables you to continue to play as a very aggressive Sunflower. But for those of you who would still prefer to be a more supportive Sunflower, but with some additional speed boosts, I suggest using Super Savior, allowing you to jump and use abilities whilst reviving, and Refreshing Revive, which decreases the cooldown of all abilities when you revive an ally. Overall, I think this is a very interesting and potentially very annoying class for zombies to have to try and deal with. If I'm quite honest, the hard target perk does feel very OP, so I wouldn't be surprised if it gets nerfed in a patch. However, this perk has been in the game since launch, and I hadn't really started to notice the speedy Gonzalez sunflowers until a live stream the other day, so the upgrade has either had some tweaks or I've just never noticed it before, so maybe it isn't OP. But I have to say, I do enjoy loadouts like this that very much altered the character's playstyle to be the complete opposite. It really adds some variety if you're getting bored of the same characters. As most of you will know, Sunflower is my favourite character and this build really does breathe some new life and gives you a different perspective on a character which I very much enjoy. Anyway guys, that's about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this loadout in the comments below and let me know if there are any loadouts I should try. Other than that, remember to subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Okay, thanks guys. Bye. Bye.